What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've not been posting any videos relating to cars or any doing any mods to my own vehicles for a long time. As you can see from my previous uploads or most recent uploads, it's just been vlogs whilst I've been out on holiday in Bangladesh. But with that being said, basically I got a new car in March um, at the BMW 330e uh, on a 70 plate, so I believe it's a G20 series. So to switch over from a diesel to a petrol, well, I believe it's got the 2 litre petrol engine as well as the, the batteries for the hybrid but to switch over to the petrol there was one thing that first came to my mind that I wanted to put a universal air filter on it because personally I don't really like putting the big exhaust systems on and having it extremely loud but I like a subtle sound with the you know when you put your foot on the accelerator and you hear that whooshing sound of, uh, of the air being sucked in so I wanted to put an air filter on this car so on this video, I'm going to be showing you a very, very cheap mod to do if you want something similar, where you don't want to put an exhaust system on, where you're spending a few hundred, hundred pound, or you want to get a professionally induction kit fitting. So, like I said, on this video, I'm going to be showing you a very cheap and simple mod to do on this vehicle. Before I get into the main bit of this video, I just want to say that in no way, shape or form am I trying to compete or do a comparison with the actual induction kits as you can see other people have put up on YouTube. When I was doing my own research and I was trying to find a, ch a cheap version or an easy way to do this, something that's within £50, I couldn't find anything. The only things that I found was people putting the actual and actually professionally fitted or you know a, a performance induction kit on which was costing people like £500 or more. And to be honest with you, I didn't really want to spend that much money. So what I did is I just bought a MAF airflow sensor universal pipe thing. I'll show you here now. I bought this from eBay and I also bought this universal air filter. As you can see, both of these items alone is under £50. Now, here's the catch. When it came to installing it on the vehicle and I took off the, the original box, as you can see on this clip, I quickly noticed that the, the original piping work was a lot bigger than the, the part that I bought for the MAF, flow, MAF airflow sensor. Now here's a quick story, basically that MAF airflow sensor thing that I got, originally I got that for the blue car, the F31, but the pinholes were different so the MAF airflow sensor would not go in and screw in. So I ended up leaving it for a long time and when i got this new car in march i tried it on this recently and behold it worked the holes lined up perfectly and i was able to screw it in so when i going back to when i was installing it when i was putting it onto my uh, my original box the air the air box because there's two boxes i don't know what the actual terminology is but there's the big box where the air filter is and you change that when you get the car serviced but there was also that small air box thing which is the thing that I've left on the car and obviously you can see it in the clips and I'll show you properly at the end but the pipe on it was too big the hole so I could even if I was screwing that screw to make it tighter it was still wide and I didn't really like that so what I did is I bought this flexi pipe thing from eBay and I was going to install that on but what ended up happening is when the pipe came the end bit accidentally came off the the metal part or the rim thing whatever it is it accidentally came off but I thought hey hold on a minute let me just try this out so I put that onto the original BMW part and it was tight so I just put the screw on a little bit tighter and luckily the the end rim this thinner rim part it lined up with the math airflow sensor part so I kind of just screwed it in and it was tight very tight then what I did is I just stuck the air filter on and I tightened it up and it worked perfectly and the only other thing was that the little box thing that was the original part of the car, it was a little bit loose. So all I did was just got a little bit of rope and I tied it onto one of the holes on um, the bonnet part and it's been sturdy, it's been stiff. Now before anybody out there, obviously there's going to be critics and there's going to be naysayers and there's going to be people that are just going to try and be nitpicky and they're going to think it doesn't work. Well, I've had this on my car for over a month. I've done journeys from London to Manchester up and down and I've been driving around doing a lot of miles and I'm telling you now it's working perfectly fine no warning lights on my 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 dash it's not popped off it's not moving around or rattling the sound of it 
I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm gonna give you two clips right now before I end the video and you can make of it what you want. But basically this is just a quick mod and a quick easy solution for anyone who wants to have a universal air filter on the car, who would like that little bit of a sound and who doesn't wanna spend 500 pound. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not doing no comparison and I'm not trying to compare with these lot that are doing professionally performance induction kits. And as I've made it clear that I'm not trying to compete or do a comparison, that's why I can't give you no statistics to say if the BHP is increased or, you know, if it's performing. But I'm not saying any of that. I just wanted it purely for the little bit of a whooshing sound and it's, it's doing me fine. So anyone out there who wants to do a cheap mod like that on your car, feel free to do whatever you want. I'll put the links for the things that I've got on eBay down below in the description. But I hope this video has been helpful and beneficial. Anyways guys, I'm going to put up the two clips now, the comparison, uh, sorry, the before and after. And until next time guys, peace out. Thank <laughs> you.